Hi everybody, this is Crystal. Okay, so on my last video, I made these uh, vintage dress pot holder set. Well, I had a couple people recommend to me that I should make a um, dress cover for your bottle of dish soap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one to match these. So it's going to be really similar, but it'll set on like this. But of course, it ain't going to have the ring on the top. So, you know, that's something cute and vintage that you could give these as a nice gift and um, add the soap cover to go with it. So I'm using the same thing. What I'm using is peaches and cream, which is 100% cotton yarn. The colors I'm using is fresh lilac and white. And there's 120 yards per skein. And it's um, just going to take about, uh, you know, these skeins will be enough to make the dress for this. Now, if you haven't seen my tutorial for these pot holders, I will put a link to them below in the description box so you can make them too to go with it. And I'm going to be using a size H, which is a 5 millimeter crochet hook. Now, as you can see with these, I alternated the colors. Um, whatever was purple on this one is actually white on this one. Uh, I'm going to do this one my dress cover for my Dawn bottle probably a little bit different but you can do it any way that you want I'm going to start with the purple for mine so we're going to start off let me move all this stuff out of the way here okay you want to start off with the slip knot on your hook now I'm making this to fit like a large this is the tall bottle of soap so and it would be easy to adjust if you buy the small bottles, probably just make the dress skirt a little bit shorter. But this would be for the larger bottle. That's what I buy because I got such a huge family. Plus my kids like think they have to dump a half a bottle of Dawn in the sink to do the dishes. I don't know why. So you want to start off with a chain of 12. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12 and now what we're going to do is slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring like that and that is what is going to go over the top of the bottle like that so move that and now what we're going to do is chain one and now we're going to work a 28 single crochets through the center of the ring. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, and then you can kind of gonna have to pull them down a little bit to make them all fit. But just keep going until you get 28 single crochets. Okay, once you make it around and you got your 28 single crochets, you want to go ahead and slip stitch into your first single crochet. Not that chain one, but that first single crochet. Like that. And then you want to, I'm going to go ahead and tie off and I'm going to change colors here. So I'm going to pull my yarn up and clip it. So I'm going to go ahead and tie this off. Like that. So there's a ring that's going to go around the top. And you can kind of straighten up your single crochets all the way around there. And now I'm going to start with my other color. And you can start it anywhere that you like in any stitch. I'm just going to go start in any stitch. And you want to start your yarn and you want to chain one. Now I'm going to work one double crochet right back into that same stitch. One double. And now I'm going to work one double crochet in every stitch all the way around until I get back to the beginning. Okay. 
just like this. And when you get back around, you should have a total of 28 double crochets. Okay, once you make it all the way around, you have your 28 double crochets. What you want to do is slip stitch into your first double crochet. Not the chain one, but the first double crochet. Now, you can change colors whenever you want. I'm not going to change colors. I'm going to make the top part of my dress white and the bottom part purple. But you can do it however you want. Now, what we want to do is we want to work a V stitch right here in the same stitch. So, we're going to chain one and we're going to work a double crochet, a chain one, and another double crochet right here in the same stitch that we just slip stitched into. So, I'm going to yarn over and I'm going to do a double crochet and then I'm going to chain one and I'm going to go right back into that same stitch and do another double crochet. So, there's the V stitch. Now I'm going to skip this next stitch and I'm going to do a v-stitch into the next one. So skipping this one, I'm going to yarn over and go into the next one and do a double crochet, a chain of one, and another double crochet. Like that. I'm going to skip the next stitch and I'm going to v-stitch into the next. So skip this one and then the next I'm going to v-stitch double, chain one, and double, and I'm going to repeat this all the way around. Skip a stitch and v-stitch into the next, double, chain one, and double. Again, skip one and v-stitch into the next, double, chain one, and double. And I'm going to repeat this all the way around. And when I get back around, I should have a total of 14 of these V-stitches. Okay, I've made it all the way around. And I have my 14 V-stitches. And what I want to do is slip stitch into my first double crochet of the first V-stitch. So go ahead and slip stitch right into that. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch over one time until I get to the middle of this v-stitch. Now what I'm going to do is, I don't know if it's the right thing to call it, but I call it a double v-stitch. And what we do here is, we're going to start with a chain one. We do two double crochets, a chain one, and two double crochets inside this chain space. So we'll go ahead and do two double crochets, chain one, and then two more double crochets. Just like that. Now we're going to jump over to the next v-stitch chain one space and we're going to do this double v-stitch again. So we're going to go into it and put two double crochets, chain one, and two more double crochets. Like that. And then we're going to jump to the center of the next v and we're going to do it again. Two doubles, a chain one, and two more double crochets. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around. It's just a double V stitch inside the chain one space of each one of these V stitches, all the way around until you get back to the beginning. And when you get back to the beginning, you should still have 14 of these double V stitches. Okay, when you make it back around and you got your 14 double v-stitches, you want to slip stitch into uh, the double crochet of this first, this first double crochet here of the first double v-stitch. Now we're going to go around again. So we're going to slip stitch over to this middle. So I'm going to slip stitch one time and then I'm going to slip, slip stitch one more time. And now I'm in that chain one space. So what I'm going to do is chain one and I'm going to do a double v-stitch again in this space of this double V stitch. So I'm gonna do a two double crochets, chain one, and then two double crochets. Just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is chain one, and now I'm gonna come over here to this next chain one space and do another double V stitch. So I'm going to do two double crochets, chain one, and two double crochets again. 
and then I'm going to chain one. So basically we're doing the exact same thing we just did the last round, except for we're chaining one in between each of the V double V stitches. So I'm going to jump to the next one right here in the middle of it and do uh, two doubles, chain one, and two more doubles. And then I'm going to chain one in between. Come over here to the next one and do it again. Two doubles. Oops. Chain one. And two more doubles. And then I'm going to chain one in between. So I'm just going to repeat that pattern all the way around until I get back to the beginning. And you still should have 14 of these double V stitches when you make it back around. Okay, when you make it back around, you want to make sure you chain one up to that last double V stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch again right here into the first double crochet of the first V stitch. And now I'm going to tie off and I'm going to change colors now. And I'm going to make the dress part of it. So we're going to form the armholes now. So I'm going to go ahead and clip my yarn off here. Take my dull scissors. There we go. So you want to take your piece and fold it in half like this. And line up your shells or your V-stitches. Let me clip all these hanging things so they're not in the way. So fold it in half where your shells line up. Okay, now I'm going to take my other color and I'm going to start making the armholes. So what I'm going to do is turn my work like this. Now in between the one, two, the second and the third double V stitch in this space we're going to put a double crochet. So we're going to put both pieces together on our hook. And this is going to how we make the armhole. So we're going to chain one. And then we're going to go back and we're going to do a double crochet those two pieces together. Like that. And that's going to make the arm. That wasn't a double crochet. Ah, oh, Splitting on me double crochet those two pieces together and that's going to create one of the armholes like that now we're going to work spread our pieces apart again and we're going to work into this V stitch here and we're going to put a double V stitch into this stitch so we're going to put two double crochets chain one and two more double crochets okay and then we're going to skip these stitches here of this of the V and we're going to work in this chain one space and we're going to put one double crochet like that and then we'll skip these stitches here and we're going to work in this in this V stitch space here and we're going to do a double V stitch so we're going to do two doubles, chain one, and two more doubles, like that, and then we're going to skip these stitches and we're going to work right here in this chain one space, put a double crochet, like that, and then skip these and we're going to work in this chain one space and we're going to put a double V stitch. So two doubles, chain one, and then two doubles. And then I'm going to, right here, you can see it's in between the second and the third, we're going to do the armhole again. So we're going to hold these two pieces together and we're going to double crochet in this chain one space, these two pieces together. So we're just going to yarn over and go right through both spaces and do a double crochet like that. Now what I'm going to do is turn my work like this 
and I'm going to continue that same pattern. So I'm going to jump over here, I'm going to skip these stitches, and in this chain one space I'm going to do a double V. So it's going to be two doubles, chain one, and two more doubles, like that. And then skip these stitches, and in this chain one space is one double crochet, like that. And then skip these, and in this chain one space is a double V, two doubles, chain one, and two doubles. Oh, that yarn keeps splitting on me. I love cotton, it's just a bad thing, it splits so easy. And then skip these right here, and right here in this chain one space, we will do a double crochet like that and then skip these and right here in this last stitch this last chain one space we will do a double V just like that and now I'm gonna end with the slip slip stitch right over here in my first double crochet Just like that. So that is the armholes are made and now the dress is just going to keep getting a little bit wider every row we go. Let me make sure it's fitting on it okay. And it is, I just got to test it as I go just to make sure. Okay. Now what's going to happen now is I'm going to continue along working with this purple but in the video that you're going to see now you're going to see me using white because it's the exact same thing I, I'm doing right now I did for this pot holder so I'm just going to use the video that I already made for this pot holder so because it's the exact same so if you're doing it the same color as me continue using purple even though my video is going to show me using white and I hope that's not too confusing but actually you can make it any color that you want so uh, just we'll just keep going. Um, we're going to be working on row 7 is what we're getting ready to get started on. So what we're going to do, start again. And we are going to chain 1. Now we're going to work 2 double crochets right back into this very first stitch. So there's 1 and 2. Now we're going to work a double V stitch right here in the center of this double V stitch. So the double V stitches, they always stay lined up with each other. So you're always going to put one in the middle of the one before. Like that. And then we're going to jump to the next stitch, this double crochet here. And we're going to put two double crochets in the top of it. Like that. And then we're going to jump to the next stitch. And we're going to put a double V. Just like that. And we're just going to keep repeating that. This stitch here two double crochets in it and then a double V here And then two double crochets here into this double crochet. Like that. And then a double V here in that. And then we're just going to repeat that back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it back around to the beginning. And I'm going to end by slip stitching into my first double crochet. And you still should have six of the double V stitches. And now you'll have 12 double crochets this round. 
Okay, we're going to start again by chaining one, and we're going to work two double crochets right back into that same stitch. Like that. And then we're going to put one double crochet into this next double crochet. And now we're going to skip these and we're just going to jump to this next the uh, next double V stitch and we're going to double V stitch in it. Like that. And then we're going to come skip these part of the V stitch and we're going to come here to these two double crochets. And we're going to put two double crochets in the first one. And one double crochet into the next one. Like that. And then we're going to skip these and jump to the next middle of the next v, double V stitch. And we're going to double V stitch in it. Like that. Skipping these stitches here and coming to these two double crochets. Putting two double crochets in the first one, and then one double crochet into the next one, and that is what we're going to repeat all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I've made it to the end, and we're just going to skip these stitches of the V and slip stitch into our first double crochet, and you should have six of the double Vs and 18 double crochets that round. Now we're going to chain one and we're going to work one double crochet right back into that same stitch. And then we're going to work two double crochets into the next stitch. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to skip these two of the V and right here in this piece we're going to put a v, another double V right here in this chain space. Now we'll skip these two stitches of the V. We're going to be working in these stitches, these three. So we're going to put one double crochet into the first one, two double crochets into the next one, and one double crochet into the next one. Like that. Skip these stitches of the V and work in the chain space of it and put another double V. And that is a repeat this time around. It's actually pretty easy. You're just increasing uh, these double crochets in the middle every round. So we'll skip these right here and we're going to be working in these three. So we'll one double crochet into the first one, two double crochets into the next one, one double crochet into the next one, then we're going to skip these two stitches of the V and work in the chain space of it and put another V. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around. Get back around, you should still have six of the double Vs. And then you'll have 24 double crochets at the end of this round. Okay, when you make it back around, you want to slip stitch into your first double crochet. And then we will start again by chaining one. And we're going to work one double crochet into that very same stitch. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work two double crochets into the next. And then one double crochet into the next, like that. And then we're going to skip these two stitches of the V. And working in the chain space, we're going to put a double V. Just 
like that. Now we're going to be skipping these two stitches of the V and we're going to be working in these four stitches. So we're going to put one double crochet into the first one, one double crochet into the next one, and then two double crochets into the next. And one double crochet into the last one, like that. So if you look close, you can see that we're just increasing by one of these double crochets every time around. So we had one there, then we had two, then we had three, then we have four. Now we're, we're, we're doing five. So we're just going to jump here to this next chain space and work a double V. Chain one, double V, like that. Now we're going to skip these two stitches of the V and we're going to work in these four stitches here. So we're going to put one double in the first one, one double into the next one, two doubles into the next, and then one double into the next. And then we're going to jump to this next chain space and work our double V. So I'm going to continue this pattern all the way around. And when you get back around at the end of this row, you should have six of the double V's. And then we're going to have 30 double crochets. Okay, let's slip stitch into the top of our first double crochet. And we'll go around again. And we're going to start out by chaining one, and we're going to work one double crochet right back into that very first stitch. And then we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to work two double crochets into the next. And then I'm going to work one double crochet in each of these last two stitches. So one here and one here. And then I'll skip these two stitches of the V and then I'll V stitch into this chain space here. Like that. And then I'll skip these two stitches of the V and we'll be working in these five. And remember we're just gonna increase these five to six because every row they increase more one more so we're going to work one double crochet in the first one one double crochet into the next one and then two double crochets into the next one and then one double crochet in these last two just like that and now we're going to skip these two stitches and work in the V stitch and do a double V. So now we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until you get back to the beginning. Skip these two, work one double here and two first one, one double into the next one, two doubles into the next, one double into each of the last two. And then we'll skip these two of the V and work a V stitch here. So you should have a total of set the end of this round. Okay, I'm back. I'm not doing the pre-recorded video anymore. So see, I did mine the solid purple. And now we're going to do it. We're on row 11 now. So I'm going to be on round 12. What I'm going to do is chain one. And I'm going to double crochet back into that same stitch. And I'm going to double crochet once into the next two stitches. I'm 
like that and then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets into the same stitch and then one double crochet in each of these last two stitches like that and then we're gonna jump over here to the V and double V in it this will be our last round before we put the edging on like that and then it's skipping these right here and working in these we're going to put one double crochet into the first three stitches so there's one two three and then two double crochets into the next and then one double crochet in each of the last two and then we're going to just skip these parts these stitches here and go to the middle of this V and put a double V in the middle of it and we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around and when you get around you should have six of the double V stitches and you should have 42 double crochets at the end of this round okay when you make it back around now we're gonna end it with a slip stitch into our first double crochet and we're gonna tie this off and I'm gonna change back change to white for my edging okay so that is and if you have a shorter bottle you can always adjust the length and leave off some rows or whatever okay I'm just going to start my yarn where I left off right here in this stitch this double crochet here I'm going to chain one and now I'm going to put a single crochet right back in to that exact same stitch that I started into like that and now I'm going to put one single crochet in every stitch until I get to the chain one space of the V including these two stitches here of the V we're going to put single crochet in each of them now when I get to this space I'm going to put five half double crochets in it so I'm going to go right through the space and I'm going to do five half doubles so there's one two three four and five and now you want to pull on this side and make sure you get this very first stitch here you can't forget him or you'll start look it'll look a little lopsided and single crochet in him and single crochet in every stitch until you reach your next chain space of the next V So if you have already made these pot holders, you can see they are very, very similar. N not much difference except for how we start at the beginning. And if you haven't, remember I'm going to put a link to the pot holders below. That way you can have a whole set. And when you, here you made it to your chain one space and you want to put five half double crochets through it. So there's one two three four and five and remember you want to pull this over and get that very first double and now we're just going to repeat this one single crochet in every stitch until you get to the next chain one space and then you'll put five half double crochets in it and just repeat that all the way around until you get back to the beginning Okay, I've made it all the way back around and you want to make sure you single crochet into these last two stitches. 
and then we're going to slip stitch into our first single crochet not the chain one but the first single crochet and now we're going to do the something pretty much the same thing around the sleeves just to put an edging on them I'm going to do that in purple though So that's what it kind of looks like so far. So I'm going to take my purple. And start my yarn. Uh, you can see right here, there's this where we crocheted them together. Start on, in this space, just that one. And both sleeves are going to be made the same too. So, And chain one. Now we're going to go back into that same chain space and single crochet. And now we're going to single crochet into the next two spaces here. And then when we get to this chain one space of the V, we're going to put five half doubles in it. So there's one, two, three, four, Five, and again you want to pull that over and make sure you get this first stitch here we're going to single crochet in the next two stitches and then we're going to single crochet in this chain space here and then we're going to single crochet in these next two stitches and then we're going to put five half doubles in our next chain space Just one two, three, four, five, and make sure you get this guy single into the next two, single into this chain space, single into the next two, and then five half doubles into the next chain space. So just repeat that all the way around. Okay, I'm coming around to the end of my sleeve and I want to go ahead and single crochet into these last two stitches. And then I want to single crochet into this chain space here. Like that. And then I'll kind of just flip my work over and I'm gonna single crochet right here into my first single crochet on the other side. Not that chain one, but that first single crochet. Slip, slip stitch into it, I'm sorry. Slip stitch into it. And then tie it off. Clip your yarn. And then you want to do the other sleeve the same. And get all your tails hidden. So I'm going to go ahead and do my other sleeve. I'm going to hide all my tails. Okay, there it is. That's all there is to it. If you make this or anything else, I'd really like to see a picture of it. You can post a picture on the Bag of Day Crochet Facebook page. Remember, I'll put links to the pot holders down below also so you can make them. Um, I'll put a link to my Etsy shop, which you can find a written pattern for all these. If you rather have a written pattern, then follow along with the video. Um, until next time, though, have a good day.